Hey yogis, Heidi Rosie here. Hope you are doing well wherever you are. And um, yeah, and thank you for joining me today on your mat. Um, we'll just be kind of diving right into a nice little routine to do first thing in the morning or right after a workout or like yoga, you can do it anywhere. So we'll go ahead and begin. And I'm going to turn um, to my mat long ways. <clears throat> Place the palms of your hands down onto your knees and close your eyes. Sitting up nice and tall, roll those shoulders down and away from your ears. Reach the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Breathing here. Big inhale, draw the heart and chest forward, place the palms of your hands on your knees and press your knees back as you draw the heart and chest forward. And then exhale, push the knees forward as you draw navel to spine, chin to chest. Rolling your heart and chest forward, pressing with the palms, opening, expanding, and then exhale, rolling it back. Two more times just like that. Big inhale, sweep the heart and chest forward. And exhale back. Last time, draw the heart and chest forward. And exhale back. Inhale, roll the heart and chest up to a neutral position. Extend both legs out in front of you. Flex your feet. Let me take my socks off. Flex your toes. And we're sitting up nice and tall. Shoulders drop away from your ears. Big inhale, sweep the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, hinge forward, reaching for your toes, your ankles, your shins. Inhale here, gaze to your toes. Exhale, round your spine, chin to chest, knee with the spine. Roll all the way back up. Drop the shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, hinge forward. Inhale, gaze towards your toes. Exhale, chin to chest, roll the spine all the way back up to a seat. One more time, just like that. Inhale, lift the arms, lift the gaze. Exhale, hinge forward. Tuck the chin, roll all the way up. Drop the shoulders down away from your ears. Draw the right foot in, left leg, right foot in, left leg stays extended out. Take the right hand, inhale, lift the right arm up. Exhale, reach your right arm to the pinky toe edge side of your left foot or to your left shin, wherever you can reach. My left foot is flexed. My right leg is relaxed. So I can grab onto the outside edge of my left foot. If that is not accessible, take your shin or your calf. Inhale, lift the heart and chest. And then exhale, take that left hand and ground it down behind you. Take your gaze back behind you. Breathing here. Drawing those shoulders away from your ears, working your way up to a strong spine, so lengthening through your spine. Twisting here. And then slowly unwind. Take your left hand to the outside of your left foot or your left shin. Big inhale, lift your right arm up towards the sky. And then exhale, drape your right arm towards your toes, over your head, gazing under your right armpit. One more breath here. Slowly taking both hands down to the floor. Draw your forehead to your knee. Maybe your forehead touches your knee, maybe it doesn't. Wherever you're at, both hands to the floor. 
one on either side of your left leg. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly tuck the chin, roll yourself all the way up. Drop the shoulders. Extend the right leg out, left foot draws it. The right foot is flexed, left leg is bent and relaxed. Inhale, lift your left arm. Exhale, reach to the pinky toe edge side of your right foot. Yeah. So again, I can grab on to that side of my foot if that's not accessible. Your ankle, anywhere, I mean, anywhere between your toe and your thigh, wherever you can manage. And then we'll find that twist. So inhale to lengthen. And then I'm going to take that right hand back behind me. And my gaze is going back behind me. I'm breathing here. Trying to find length in the spine. A couple more breaths. And then very slowly, unwinding, take that left hand to your left foot. Big inhale, or your right hand to your right foot, excuse me. Big inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky. And then exhale, drape your left hand over your head, reaching towards your toes. Gaze is underneath your left arm. Next, exhale your left and right hand. We'll frame your right leg, forehead towards your knee. Surrendering here. And then tuck your chin to your chest. Slowly rolling up, drawing that navel in as you roll all the way up to a seated position. Crossing your ankles, roll forward to hands and knees. And if that's not accessible, somehow make your way to hands and knees. From hands and knees, we'll make some hip circles. So starting taking the hips first to the left and forward. And then over to the right and back. We'll do that one more time in that direction to the left forward. Don't forget to breathe here to the right and back. Let's switch direction. So we'll go to the right and forward and then over to the left and back. One more time to the right, forward, to the left and back. Tuck your toes under. Step your right foot in between your hands. Shift your hips forward. Untuck your left toes. Inhale, sweep the arms, reaching them up overhead. Take a moment, take your hands to your hips and draw your right hip back as your left hip comes forward. So a little scissor action here. The right hip comes, <laughs> imagine my fists are your, um, are your hips. So your right hip, you're pulling your right hip back as you Draw your left hip forward and that'll help square the hips off. You can even feel it if you place your hands on your hips. As you draw that right hip back, you can feel that left hip come forward. One more breath here. Exhale, slowly use your hands, use your core, shift your hips back. Flex your right toes. Keep a strong back. I'm folding, hinging at the waist over your right thigh. Same thing here. Trying to stay square. If it's accessible and comfortable, you can take 
your hips all the way down to your heel. Maybe deepening the stretch by folding forward. If that's not accessible, that's fine. Keep the hips lifted. Listen to your body. We're working on expanding and lengthening through that hamstring. Inhale, slowly come forward. Tuck your left toes under. Um, tuck your left toes and lift your left knee up off of the mat. Ground your left heel down like you would for warrior pose. Now pivot your right toe to face the left side of your mat, both hands to the inside of your right leg. And then we'll continue this little rotation as you sink your hips and lift your left toes up off of the mat. Ideally, your right heel stays down. As you can see, mine is coming up. My inner thighs are just a little tight today, and that's fine. So, but what we're working towards is getting that left, that right heel down, flexing through the left foot, fingertips or wherever. Maybe you're here, and that's fine. Breathing, just breathing. That's what's important. Inhale, slowly rise all the way up. Walk your hands to the left side of your mat. Drop your right knee down. Untuck your right toes. So we're just going to do those same poses now on the left side. So prepare yourself here. Inhale, rise up, reach the arms. And then as you exhale, take your hands to your hips. We'll find that adjustment. So you'll draw that left hip back as your right hip draws forward. It's that little sigil scissor action going on in the thighs to help square them off a little bit. So think about drawing one back as the other comes forward in. And you can feel it on this side too. You can feel that shift. One more breath here. And then exhale, begin to shift forward, hinge forward at the hips. Hands come down, use your core, flex your left foot. My left side's a lot tighter than my right. <laughs> Keep those toes flexed, staying lifted. Or again, you can sink all the way down. Maybe deepen the stretch by folding forward. And breathing wherever you're at. Shifting yourself forward. Ground down your hands. Tuck your right toes under. Lift your right knee up off of the mat. Ground down through the right heel. Bring both hands to the inside of the left foot. Pivot your left foot to adjust and very slowly begin to lift your right toes up off of the mat, sinking your hips down. Again, that heel might be up and that's fine. Your hips can be super elevated also and that's totally fine. The most important thing that we're focusing on is that we're flexing through this right foot and that we're focusing on this knee. What's it doing? Does it feel like twingy? You can always back up. You can always back out. Never forcing anything, just letting the body sink and relax. And then from here, we'll lift the hips all the way up, pointing both toes in the same direction, folding forward. Wide legged forward fold. Relax through the head and neck. Inhale, lift up halfway. Drawing the crown of the head to the front of your room. And then exhale, fold. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lift the heart and chest. Lengthen, imagine 
reaching the crown of your head forward as your tailbone draws back. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step your feet together, making your way down onto your knees. Untuck your toes so the tops of your feet press into the mat. Place your palms on your thighs, palms down. Reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. And let's take five cleansing breaths here. Big inhales and big exhales. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste.